second shot, mm. um, which was also a Scott film. It was a, a military film and it was created to be an entire one shot. It wasn't a real one shot mm. movie, but it was edited with yeah, seamless yeah. cuts. Nice. So it comes out as a one off. That was one of the first jobs after COVID, um, after the, kind of the second lockdown. And uh, so it was, it was one of those jobs. It was just nice to be working again. Mm -hmm. um, but we had the location that we were shooting on, we had access to it and we were basically based there um, prior to shoot. So we could, we could walk from our production base onto the set and mm -hmm. just go, okay, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do there? And creatively, I think it, they just gave me a lot of scope to do, to do what we wanted. Yeah. Um, and it was one of those cases where it wasn't overly written on what was happening. And particularly because the, it wasn't written to the location, it was a little bit, but you know, we, we hadn't quite decided exactly where things were. So when myself, the director, the DP producers, um, turned up at the set, we could then walk through and go, okay, so this is going to happen here. And then how do we get from A to B in a single take? How do we choreograph the camera around the actors so that we see everything? Yeah. How do we find our cut transitions? Because they needed to be done in specific ways and, and some places weren't wouldn't allow for mm. for those transitions to be without being too forced. And uh, we basically shot like a previs of the entire movie, what well, the director did. So he took a film, took a, a, a camera to set with a DP and with a few of us acting as, as cast and extras, we basically ran through the script throughout the whole set. Uh, and when he edited that together, he realized it was, it was quite short. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like the page count of the script because yeah. some action take, take, doesn't take as long. Yeah. Um, so uh, and this was only a few days before we were going to start shooting <laughs> and he said damn we need more action <laughs> so we take some of these action beats or, or have a think about what's yeah. in the script already and where can we add stuff that will that will elongate that without it being just mindless padding yeah, yeah it has yeah, to make yeah, sense right. but uh but how do we make these these action sequences bigger and he was busy and everyone else was busy so it was just me and a few other stunt guys that were there could go onto the set and go oh, okay so how what do we add here so mm -hmm. we we added the uh, the gatehouse sequence where so a group of guys have just jumped out of this they've just assaulted this military base they've jumped out of this truck they're killing all the, the guards um, and then there's a section where they break off to go into the gatehouse to open the gates to allow for more people to come in. Mm. And then they come out of the gatehouse and then there's a bit more of a firefight. And then they go back to the truck and then we kind of go back to what was in the script. And then there's another breakout where we go with the, the we, we transition from the bad guys to the actors and the actors have something. Mm. And then we transition back to the bad guys. Mm. And, and that was a whole new section that we added. I just really enjoyed being nice. able to do that. And it came off really well and, and People have said they, they liked that bit 